D-Tektronic specializes in the design, manufacture, installation, maintenance and operation of flow monitoring equipment used to help prevent flooding and reduce pollution. From the mid-1970s, our design team has continued to develop cutting-edge technology, products and services, working with organisations across a variety of sectors, from the marine leisure industry to water utilities, their suppliers and leading wastewater flow survey specialists. The work starts at our newly opened offices, where our highly skilled in-house technicians manufacture, assemble and test all of our flow and level monitoring systems before they are approved for installation. All the sensors are hand tested at different flow rates and water levels and then all checked using purpose built software. Installation for our flow meter and ultrasonic level monitor is carried out by D-Tektronic's skilled two or three man teams. When arriving on site the crew will make sure that the work area is safe, when necessary setting up safety barriers and cones. The safety harness and recovery rig is set up for the person entering the sewer. These safety precautions are taken whether working in an enclosed area or on a public footpath or road. Next, the team put on protective clothing and set up the monitoring equipment. Before installing the flow meter, the team will fix the sensor onto a stainless steel band which when placed in the sewer will hold the sensor in the correct position. All the site data and details are then programmed into the flow monitor and added to the system. The installing engineer will then enter the sewer and the second engineer will lower down the flow monitor and all the equipment necessary for the installation. The second man will then check the telemetry connection and the team will carry out the calibration procedure. Once this is all completed, the main control unit is often mounted from a stainless steel bar near the top of the manhole. This method of mounting allows for quick and easy access to the equipment for necessary maintenance, either by d or by other utility companies. Where it is necessary to simply measure the depth of flow, d will only install the ultrasonic level monitor. Using the same safety setup, the engineer is hooked onto the harness and lowered into the sewer. There, they fix a bracket onto the wall and attach the level sensor and the monitor is then calibrated to the correct height and water level. The control unit is then placed above the monitor and fixed into position. The installation will now be monitored via telemetry by d operation centre. The manhole covers are then placed back into position and the team can now pack up and move on to the next site. Because of the nature of work, hygiene is paramount, which is why all of D-Tektronic vehicles are fitted with their own washing stations. Routine and reactive maintenance is scheduled or stimulated by the operations centre and carried out by D-Tektronic field service teams. In order to fully understand the operation of the sewer network, it is necessary to measure the duration and intensity of rainfall. For this purpose, d manufactures and installs its own telemetered rain gauge. The rain gauge should be located in an open area, away from buildings and trees, and is set up on site by the service engineer using his laptop. Collected rainfall is funneled into a tipping bucket mechanism, which generates electrical pulses. Back at the D-Tektronic data center, all the systems are monitored using near real-time telemetry. The sewer network is vast and complicated. For example, Seven Trent's water sewer network, if placed end-to-end, -end, would be long enough to circle the world twice. D-Tektronic monitors send information on sewage flow velocity and depth from throughout the sewer network. 
Alarms are raised by the flow and level monitors when operating parameters exceed preset thresholds. When a problem arises, our staff and monitoring systems will quickly act in informing clients of the imminent problem so that their teams can take action. In this instance, after the investigating crew reported a blocked screen, a jetting crew was sent out to clear it. On occasions, the Detectronic senior team is summoned by the data center to review and interpret changes in hydronic profiles. This is to determine if a future problem, which could lead to a blockage, has been detected and should be reported to the client, requesting an early intervention. It's important to note that although much of the monitoring process is automated, every site is different and, on occasions, human intervention to interpret the results and advise the water company is essential. Detectronic understands the need to manage the network of sewage in a way that allows them to optimise the flow to the sewage treatment plants, manage sewer overflows and optimise in a way that ensures overall customer satisfaction, compliance and helps drive down cost. Thank you.